In this tutorial we're going to show you how to install a downloaded theme using WinSCP and OpenSSH. So first we're going to start and WinSCP and your host name which is your IP address and to find that out you go to settings on your iPhone and then Wi-Fi settings and then you click on the blue and white arrow on the network that's selected with the tick so if you click on the blue and right arrow and the IP address which is that one at the top that's the one you need to type into the host name and your username is root and password is a password that you selected using a uh, mobile terminal to change the default password and then click login and this is the, the root directory on your iPhone so we need to go right down to the, the start um, directory in a minute but uh, first we'll, we'll pick a theme that we want to install and these are the different pictures so you can see them in alphabetical order and so they're all in RAR files again so we need to use WinRAR to extract them to the desktop so we'll go for this one so right click right, double click and extract to and select desktop and OK and then the folder should come onto the desktop now uh, close that and close that now we need to go back to WinSCP and come right to the base directory by clicking this folder just keep clicking it until it won't go any back any further <coughs> double click on library and then themes and this is what's in your winterboard app and these are all the different themes you've got already loaded in there so we need to transfer that file into that directory so you can either do it this way this is your desktop side on the left and the iPhone files on the right so if you go up to desktop and it should be in there but uh, we'll just drag and drop the file in there so just click and hold drag it over to your drag it over to your iPhone file section make sure it's not highlighting a folder as it will put it in that folder and then let go and click copy and that should be in the winterboard app so we'll close that okay and we need to go into the winterboard apps so click on winterboard and then select the new one we've just put in deselect that one first otherwise it will mix them up and select the, the new one and then click the home button to refresh the springboard And uh, yeah, it's a new theme installed. So if, if any of the, the apps are the standard preset ones, it's because there isn't the icons list in the folder. You can just choose, um, there's normally loads in there that you can edit and just, just